Officer! That's great. Every time I do something wrong, it's always me they put in jail. I can't believe it. I mean, I've done nothing wrong. People always say, you, outside. That's the way it always is. I mean, what's the point of being a punk if you're always getting told to get outside? Punks are made for being in. <laughs> I think. Anyway, it's always the same. And people always tell me, you're pornographic, you're disgusting, you're filthy. I mean, look at me, I'm trying to wash my hands, but there's no public toilet, so... <laughs> I'm pornographic. Me, pornographic. Okay. Sometimes I admit I write a dirty word on a toilet wall every now and then. Like yesterday I wrote Ronald Reagan in very big letters. But me, <laughs> pornographic. I mean, what's more pornographic than, than policemen walking around with guns in their hips? That to me is pornographic. But does anybody stop it? No way. <laughs> it's the accepted form. The police, of course, they have a gun. But why? Why should the police have a gun? To protect you who doesn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe not, maybe you're so conditioned in Denmark. But the thing is, you know, it doesn't matter where you go nowadays. Frankfurt, Amsterdam, Prague, China, everywhere has got a gun. It doesn't matter what you want to swag up at your little from Frankfurt Airport and you want to go to Trinidad, for example. Some of us do. But I mean, that's the way it is. You get on the airport at Frankfurt, yeah, I've got a gun, so I got a gun, very nice start a holiday, you know. Oh, you've got a machine gun up your butt. Oh. And you get to turn it down at the other end. You get off the plane. Alright, man, move the fucking thing down here. Come on, move it down. He's better than going. Come on, move it up. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pornographic. I remember once I was actually handing myself a wee cup of tea on the autobahn between Malmo and this, wherever that big town is in the north of Sweden. Stalker or something, I don't know what it's called. Stockings. And I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there at the table, it's a beautiful sunny day, and there's kids running around, and they're eating a wee pet pajiriga, and I'm enjoying myself, there's no problems. And suddenly, in walks the highway patrol. Go, hot, hey, that's it, you my whole head, you need the whole head, you're right, I'll go ahead. Hamburger, so if you want to have a hamburger, unless of course you don't eat meat like myself, well, that's not that's my problem. I thought if you're here, put some on my feet, you're holding a stool, and have a little bit of food behind you, and you need to eat. Everyone's entitled to their taste, that's what I say. Anyway, they come across the old floor, down through the aisle. Oh, y'all stay, y'all, they feel the old thing. Swinging the hips like guns are in the hips like cowboys, you know. Cowboys are the modern world. Except the nearest they get to be cowboys is lassoing a McDonald's every Friday evening. <laughs> Down on the table, and here comes the bit that I object to. Out on the table come the guns. Now I'm sitting there, I enjoy myself. I don't believe what I see. I mean, guns on a table. There's a little child running up and down. I'm thinking, I thought Sweden was socialised. I thought they liked kids. Instead of just spinning the old British Russian roulette and flying them around at the same time, going, 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 there's another kid going. So I get up, I kick my chair out of the way, I'm confident. I know I'm in the right. I walk over and I says, excuse me, friend. I know immediately I've no chance. Uh, look, I notice it's a bit pornographic. You've put the guns on the table. Why don't you take them outside the doors over there? Yeah, holy yeah, you're gonna read the snap of your head on the front of your fire, yeah, holy yo! Guess who goes outside? <laughs> Yours truly. It's always like that. I think I'll leave a message for the police. Police the police before they police you. <laughs> <laughs>